on today's Whiskey Review. Tin Cup 10 Year. Let's go. What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears where we taste, review, whiskey, bourbon, scotch, all of the above. Three different ways, neat with a dash of water and on the rocks, and then we give it a rating on the tier system. And in today's video, we are doing Tin Cup 10 Year. Okay, so Tin Cup 10 Year is an American whiskey matured in white American oak barrels with a number three char and aged for a minimum of 10 years before being cut to proof with Rocky Mountain water. It's named after the mining pioneers in the tin cups from which the whiskey was drank. And it is a product of Indiana. So MGP, basically. Uh, so a couple things to go over with this bottle. Let's start with the bottle itself. I'm kind of mixed review on this bottle because on one hand, I like, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's raised glass embossing words all the way around. Cut with Rocky Mountain water, tin cup, uh, elevation 5,251 feet, tin cup, Jesse G Graber, founder. So that's pretty cool, but on the other hand, it kind of looks like a cheap bottle to me. It doesn't look like an expensive whiskey would be put in this bottle. It's got kind of a cool raised lettering here on this little label up top. And at the same time, it's also not super clear. Like if, if you were just walking past this, in a liquor store, you would not look at this and think 10 year bourbon because it's very small. The 10 year notice on there, it's only right there and then on the little uh, tin cup on the top there. So that's my thoughts on the bottle. The second thing is it is a 10 year lower proof bourbon. It's coming in at 42% alcohol. So it's, what's that, 80, 84 proof. So pretty low there on the proof. So that's gonna be a little bit of a change from what I've done recently here on the channel. And I'm also filming back-to-back -back episodes today where I'm going to be doing the Tin Cup 10 year followed by the Widow Jane 10 year. So those videos are gonna be released back-to-back. -back, so it's gonna be cool to kind of be able to compare two 10 year bourbons, which for me is gonna be immediately back-to-back, -back, but for you will be in two separate videos. So we're going to do that as well. So one of the interesting things about Tin Cup is that they cut it with uh, or proof it down with Rocky Mountain water as the same way that Widow Jane is proofed down with a specific water. So we might get a real sense of maybe what water is better based on which whiskey is better. And then of course it comes with a little tin cup made for drinking on top like the old pioneer style. So I will try some out of here. We're gonna start with our normal tasting style out of the Glencairn glass, nose it and everything from there. And then we'll try it in the tin cup and see if it tastes any different, any better, any worse. And then we're gonna rank it on a tier system. So let's go tin cup 10 year. All right, let's get the bottle pop. Eh, that's an okay one, nothing special on that one. Pour it into the Whiskey Tears Glencairn glass. And kind of a tough pour out of that weird top there. I don't know, maybe I was just a little heavy handed, but that's all right. Put our tin cup back on top for now. Swirl it around, get the aromas flavoring. It's definitely a little bit lighter on the color, much more of a kind of a watery yellow, I would say on the color on this one. And that's probably because it is only 84 proof and proof down with that Rocky Mountain water. So let's get the noses going and see what we think. By the way, before I do that, I almost forgot. If you're wondering which version of the Tin Cup 10 year I have, if you've recently watched Matt from ADHD's video, I have the American whiskey and the bourbon writing. So I have the kind of in between the original release and the new release. So I have the American whiskey and the bourbon. Okay, I'm getting some cantaloupe, maybe a little bit of orange. Yeah, cantaloupe and orange peel, I think. A little bit of vanilla. A little bit of oakiness on there. A cantaloupe, orange peel, vanilla. A little bit of oakiness on top. Just a hint of spices, maybe, um, hmm. Maybe like a mix of winter spices. I can't quite put my finger on what spices those are that I'm smelling. But yeah, we got some cantaloupe, we got some orange peel, got a little bit of vanilla. 
maybe just a dab of caramel. Okay, so the nose is pretty nice. You can definitely smell that it is a lower proof coming in. So, you know, it's been a minute actually since I've drank something this lower of proof. So hopefully the drinking the higher proof stuff isn't gonna jade me too much against it. But it smells good and it's gotten really good reviews online if you've watched Matt and Bourbon Junkies and all them talking about it. So let's go ahead and try it, see how it tastes like. Got some vanilla, got some oakiness. It's definitely lighter, it doesn't burn the throat going down at all. Definitely got some spice on the end, uh, a little bit of tobacco-iness, a little bit of pepperiness. That's kind of how it finishes off in your mouth. It kind of leaves you with a little lingering vanilla, caramely, tobacco, peppery kind of flavor. That was a pretty good sip. Ooh, so you definitely get the vanilla, and I, th I think I'm getting like the real, the real white portion of like an orange peel taste that time I got. Like if you were just to peel an orange and you just kind of lick the inside of the peel where it's still nice and white, that's kind of the, the taste I got on that one. See if I get that again. Yeah, get a little bit of caramel coming in that time. That time I got it nicely all over the tongue. I get some oakiness and then it finishes off with that kind of tobacco with pepperiness with some of that vanilla lingering. So, you know, not too bad. Um, Maybe a little bit not as great as I thought it would be based on all the reviews I've seen, but very good. So, you know, I'm still kind of up in the air on what I think about it overall. Very good nose. I think the nose is actually better than the palate. The nose is fantastic. That time the sip was pretty good. The sip was pretty good. I mean, it's something that you could easily drink. If you are a regular whiskey or bourbon drinker, you can drink this down almost like it's a beer because it's so low of proof, has no burn going down, just a slight tingle all the way down at the bottom, but you don't really get any of that ethanol flavor or burn or anything like that in your mouth. So very crushable, coming in around, you know, $60, $70, depending on where you live. I think I got it for I actually think I got it for 55. Yeah, I got it for 55. So maybe somewhere between 50 and 70, depending on where you live. I got it for 55 uh, two days ago when I saw it. I had to buy it because of all the reviews I had seen recently. But yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's, okay. it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's very strange because every time I sip it, I get like the flavor that dominates seems to be different. So one time I sip it and it is dominant with that kind of inside of orange peel flavor. That time I sipped it and it was more dominant on the vanilla flavor. It was very vanilla-y. That was a very creamy kind of, uh, kind of like a whipped cream vanilla that time when I drank it. So it's, it's interesting because it has that kind of different aspect to it every time you take a little sip. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Let's try it with a dash of water. All right, dash of water. Nose is basically identical. Maybe a little bit of bubble gum added in there on the nose with the water. Okay, dash of water, interestingly enough, kind of took away that peppery finish, and I just got a vanilla whipped cream slide down my tongue that time, so that's interesting. Maybe I got a little bit of the neck pour there at first. Still getting the other flavors in it, but it's getting more and more vanilla, it seems like, every time I take a sip. So yeah, it's pretty good. Let me try it on the rock, see how that is. All right, before we try it on the rocks, I almost forgot, we've got to try it out of the tin cup that comes on top. So let's try just a little, little swig out of the tin cup here. Ooh, spilled a little bit. Yeah, pretty good. When you go back to the neat, without the, the dash of water in there, you get kind of that spiciness back on the end. So if you like the kind of spicy endings, I would say go neat on this one. If you like that real vanilla-y, creamy-y, and you don't like the spice as much, I would say do the dash of water. But now let's try it on the rocks. Just a hint of spice on the end. When I put it on the rocks and with the dash of water, I get almost none of that inside of the orange peel taste. That's pretty much just 
all vanilla, a little hint of caramel in there, a little hint of oak, and it kind of gets rid of that spiciness on the end. It makes it real smooth and just, it's in your mouth and then it's gone real quickly. So yeah, it's pretty good on the rocks. This is actually probably one that I don't normally like drinking my whiskey on the rocks, but this is one I could do and enjoy just because it's like you're drinking a nice cold melted whipped cream. All right, so tin cup 10 year. Overall, I was a little up and down on it. I feel like while I was reviewing this video, at times I really, really liked it. At other times I was a little bit disappointed, maybe just had it really hyped up in my head after seeing all of the videos online. So where is it going to go on the tier system? Tin cup, 10 year American whiskey bourbon edition. It is going to go for me, I think, bottom of the B tier. So it's gonna go very bottom of the B tier for me on the tier list. And that's pretty good for a 10 year whiskey that only cost me $55. I think that is pretty good to be up in the B tier. And I think that's where I'm gonna rank it. And then next week we'll see how the Widow Jane aged 10 years does against the Tin Cup 10 years. We'll see maybe if one's better than the other. Is Rocky Mountain water better than the water that Widow Jane uses? I don't know. But Tin Cup 10 year, you're going in the B tier. It is nice to have some older bourbons up here. The 10 year, the 10 year, got a 12, a 15. So it's nice to have some older ones on your shelf just for if you have people that come over and say, hey, this was in a barrel for at least 10 years. We don't really know exactly how long because it's MGP and they sourced it, but at least 10 years. So that's it, Widow Jane, next week, Tin Cup, 10 year, this week on the B tier. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you later.